Hey folks, I'm not in my shop this week. Myself and April Wilkerson decided to come up here to Wisconsin to Nick Ferry's shop and collaborate on a few projects. And while we're here, we've got a couple things that require the use of a vise. Uh, Nick doesn't have a vise, but he does have a very sturdy outfeed slash assembly table. So I figured I'd wake up early before anybody else and knock out a quick pipe clamp style twin screw vise. To make this vise, I'll need a piece of three quarter inch plywood as a spacer. This is specific to this particular table. You probably won't need this. A piece of pine for the rear jaw, a piece of hardwood for the front jaw. In this case, I'm using maple, a section of black iron pipe. I'm using a 36 inch piece that I will cut in half, two pipe clamps. These are three quarter inch pipe clamps, a drill with a Forstner bit to match the size pipe that I'm using, and a couple screws to secure the rear jaws of the pipe clamps. This table has a recessed top rail and to make sure that the rear jaw device does not collapse under pressure, I need to pad this area out with the same plywood material that was used to create the legs. To allow this vise to be removed and relocated elsewhere down the road if the need arises, I'm not using any glue to attach the rear jaw. Instead, I'm just pre-drilling and using six screws. To make sure that the pipes are the same distance from the top of the work surface, I drilled a hole into a piece of scrap wood and then clamped another board to it the appropriate distance from the hole to act as a guide block. I'll use this to start both of the pipe holes through the rear jaw and once the holes are started, then I can remove the guide and try to eyeball these as horizontal as possible. Both of the rear jaws for the pipe clamps need to have holes drilled in them for mounting them. And because these pieces are just cast metal, it's extremely easy to drill these holes. Having to clamp this pipe to the work table to cut it is a good example of why having a vise in the shop is extremely handy. And luckily these pipe clamp vices work really well and are really easy to make. This is the fourth one that I've made. You can make the vise any length that you want, but this one has 18 inches in between pipes. And you don't necessarily have to use the full width of it. If you're working with smaller stock, then you can set the opposite pipe a little bit deeper than the thickness of the material and then just work off of the other side so you're only messing around with one screw every time you want to use it. And we also clipped off the bottom left corner of the front jaw so that the entire vise, uh, the entire front jaw can be swung out of the way for uh, oddly 
shaped stock to be easily put into the vise without backing the screws out all the way. These are pipe clamps so you can reach underneath the table easily and adjust the maximum capacity of the vise but for the vast majority of everything you're going to do you can get zero to two inches of capacity just with the screws that are in the pipe clamps themselves. As I said earlier myself and April Wilkerson made the trip to Wisconsin to collaborate on a few videos with Nick Ferry. And if you're not familiar with these two guys, then be sure to check out their channels. I'll post links to them down below. They're both awesome woodworkers and it's just been an absolute pleasure working with them so far. And we still got a lot of stuff to make. So be sure to check out those links, check out their channels, and stay tuned for more videos from all of us. Until next time, thanks for watching. You guys take care and have a great day. So that video was shot about a month ago and as I was editing the footage, I realized I wish I would have elaborated on a couple things. As I said in the video, that's the fourth twin screw pipe clamp style vise that I've made. Each one of them has been slightly different than the next. The first one was a moxen vise style and it sat on top of your work surface and kind of elevated your material just slightly. It's a non-permanent solution that you just set up and use. The second one is a more permanent solution that I mounted directly to the side of my assembly table. It's ready to go at all times, but it was a little bit lower than the Moxon vise. The third one was built directly into the side of my workbench, and that was primarily for working on really wide panels at the workbench. And of course, you just saw the fourth one right there. So to answer the question of why use pipe clamps to make a twin screw vise. There's a couple different reasons. Number one, it's really inexpensive. Uh, I can get these pipe clamps for about $6 locally plus $1.20-ish per linear foot of pipe. And to use two of these per twin screw pipe clamp vise is about $16 plus the cost of uh, scrap wood that you have in your shop probably to actually make the vise. Uh, number two, it's really easy to do. You can make this in about a half hour uh, and modify it to suit your needs. And number three, it, it works really good. I've used, like I said, several of these in the past and they work really good. Really quick, I wanna add a couple recommendations for the clamps that you use. And they're, they're just personal recommendations, uh, just, just my own opinions. Uh, first off, I have a bunch of these half inch pipe clamps on hand because uh, like I said, I can get these really inexpensive here locally and anybody who comes and visits the shop, I like to give them away to them. Uh, it's fun to be able to give when you can and you can never have enough clamps. So uh, anyway, I prefer half inch style pipe clamps rather than three quarter. They're inexpensive or less expensive than the three quarter inch clamps. And I never once said, man, I wish I would have used a three quarter inch pipe clamp in this situation for more clamping power when it comes to the vices. These will do the job just fine. Uh, a couple other things that I really don't like, uh, and that is a fixed handle back here, and then also the head has a quick release. I don't like either one of these. I prefer to have the handle where it slides up and down on the threaded rod, just to give your hands a little bit more options as, as far as uh, your leverage on the screw. And then also, if this is a quick release, then that means it can slide pretty easy as you're, as you're tightening this down. So. I don't want a quick release right here. Instead, I only want one quick release on the inside piece of the clamp and the, uh, the head, uh, the, the part with the screw, I want that to screw onto the pipe so it is in a fixed location as I am screwing down uh, the actual threaded rod. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you wanna see some more behind the scenes kind of videos, uh, check out my second channel for the past two and a half years. That's what I've been doing over there. And if you wanna see some more videos, then check out those over there as well. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.